Kirby is one of Nintendo's most popular and lovable characters, but despite this, most people don't even know much about his games. So today, let's take a look at 100 Kirby facts that you probably don't know. Kirby in Dream Land's title screen was drastically changed in the international releases to accommodate the longer title. Kirby's Air Ride was originally going to be called Kirby Bowl 64 and release on the N64. In the very first level of Kirby in the Forgotten Land, called Point of Arrival, you can hear birds chirping along with other ambient noises. But if you pay close attention, you'll hear the birds are actually chirping the grasslands theme. Mario, Luigi, Toad, and Birdo are visible in the stands of the Spring Breeze battle with King DDD in Kirby Superstar. Kirby's Adventure is by far the largest NES game coming in at a whopping 6 megabits. The first letter of each world in Kirby's Adventure spells out Vib G Yor, which, if you haven't guessed, is Roy G Biv spelled backwards. If Kirby uses the fighter ability in Planet Robobot and presses the Street Fighter inputs for a Hadouken, Kirby will do a charged version of his attack. Kirby's Dream Course and Earthbound share many sound effects. This is because they are both developed by HAL Laboratories around the same time. The title of the 3DS game Kirby's Triple Deluxe is a play on 3D, triple being the 3 and deluxe being the D. Kirby's Avalanche is called Kirby's Ghost Trap in PAL releases. Kirby's Air Ride was the last game Masahiro Sakurai directed for HAL Laboratories. Kirby's Return to Dreamland had an excruciating 11 year long development cycle, going through multiple redesigns and restarts before finally being released in 2011 on the Wii. Link canonically kills Kirby, well, anti-Kirby, a featured boss in Link's Awakening. Kirby is also in Fortnite, well, at least he was left in the trailer for a few frames. This was removed for the PlayStation and Xbox versions of the games, leading many to assume it was a mistake. Kirby isn't in Fortnite, but Fortnite definitely is in Kirby. A 2019 My Nintendo wallpaper for Kirby's Epic Yarn randomly had a Fortnite logo in it. In an American commercial for Kirby's Dreamland, Kirby had teeth. Okay, so let's go from one of the most cursed Kirby facts to one of the most wholesome. In 2011, Nintendo held a contest with the Starlight Children's Foundation for children to invent a new Kirby super ability. One of the abilities shown in the contest gallery was Dr. Kirby, who would help others who are sick. If this isn't already one of the most wholesome things to ever exist, Dr. Kirby would actually come to exist, being added into Kirby Planet Robobot. While Kirby was always intended to be pink, on the American box art for Kirby's Dreamland, the first game in the series, he was actually white. This was a communication error with the team, because although Kirby was supposed to be pink, there was no way of knowing this by playing the game, because on the Game Boy, he just appeared in grayscale. Okay, going from the first Kirby to the newest Kirby, Kirby in the Forgotten Land is representing a brand new direction for the series, and features a new version of the main Kirby series logo, having changed the font for the first time since Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland, and that logo has received a major update. Kirby's original name was Twinkle Popo or Popopo, and that scrapped name reappeared as the Popopo Islands in Kirby Mass Attack. Kirby ended up being named after a lawyer for Nintendo of America, John Kirby. HAL is both a reference to being one letter before IBM and HAL and HAL 9000 from 2001 A Space Odyssey. HAL made many games before Kirby including Eggerland Mystery which also released on the MSX in 1985. Eggerland Mystery starred both Lolo Lo and La 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 who would go on to be bosses turned allies in the Kirby franchise. Some of the most expensive amiibo are these DDD and Meta Knight features which have manufacturing errors. Kirby Right Back At Ya, the TV show, was dubbed and localized by 4Kids Entertainment, which also had some questionable changes. One of these changes included DDD's chainsaw into a lightsaber-looking thing. Why this was changed? I'm not quite sure. Kirby 64 The Crystal Shards is one of the few games in the series not to feature the Kirby dance in any form. However, there was some reference to the victory theme in the code, meaning it was probably originally planned. In Kirby's Return to Dreamland, Kirby occasionally smugly smirks while doing the dance. No clue why. In the same game, Kirby can also moonwalk as his dance, which is an obvious reference to Michael Jackson. Kirby appears quite often in the Smash Bros. promotional media like fighter reveals, like Rosalina, Min Min, Kazuya, and the World of Light, probably given that his creator is Masahiro Sakurai, who obviously produces Smash. Kirby technically first appeared as a background cameo in Arcana, a HAL game that dropped two months before Dreamland. 
During development, most Kirby games are internally named after food. Some of the most interesting ones are Kirby's Fighter Deluxe being pizza and Planet Robobot being torta. Team Kirby Clash Deluxe and Super Kirby Clash are Lime and Lime 2 respectively, obviously because they are somewhat sequels. Kirby was originally a placeholder icon before the developers fell in love with him. King Dedede's name is pronounced Day 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 in Japanese, and the Smash crowd chants both pronunciations. Sakurai voices DDD in Smash, meaning in the Banjo and Kazooie and K. Rule trailers, he's literally laughing at the viewer. The Super Spicy Kirby was only in the first Kirby game, then it appeared 15 years later as a Smash item. Kirby's copy ability was also not in the first game, being added a year later in a sequel. In fact, ANS complained that in the first game, Kirby Dreamland on Game Boy, was too easy, so hence why copy abilities were added in the sequel, to incentivize players to fight the enemies rather than just fly over them. When coming up with the copy ability concept, developers came up with over 40 items for different abilities, however only 26 made into the sequel. Nobly cut a block making power, which we would eventually go on to see as one of Kirby's most iconic moves in Smash Bros. Kirby levels often spell out different words lightly related to the games, with Canvas Curse's levels spelling out Rainbow. Kirby's Adventure features the first appearance of Meta Knight, but he wasn't named that in that game. Speaking of Meta Knight, early concept art showed him with this armor which is undoubtedly cooler, but the complex nature makes him understandably cut. Apparently level 5-5 in Dreamland 2 resembles a naked woman. I don't know if that seems like a stretch, but people love claiming that this is, so here it is. Kirby Superstar's original title was Kirby of the Stars Active. There's an entire Metroid mission in Dreamland 3 about defeating Metroid, which is given to the player by Samus. Kirby's Canvas Curse is currently the highest rated Kirby game on Metacritic, which is weird considering that it's arguably the most untraditional mainline Kirby. Kirby's Kagiaro mission was originally a concept for a Kirby horror game. This was obviously cancelled. However, apparently it would have been about Kirby's mouth sealed shut from a curse which is actually kinda interesting. For Kirby's 20th anniversary, a group of 536 Kirby fans assembled in Seattle for PAX Prime in 2012 to claim the Guinness World Record for blowing bubblegum, which required the group to hold the bubbles for over 30 seconds. Nintendo organized the event and even printed Kirby-themed instructions on how to correctly chew and blow bubblegum. Kirby is often happy in the Japanese box art, but mad in the US box art. This comes down to Nintendo of America's marketing. Kirby Star Allies is the first Kirby game to have a happy Kirby on the North American box art, since Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. This was also the case in Kirby and the Forgotten Lands box art. Kirby's flying and hovering abilities were introduced to the game in order to differentiate the game from other platformers at that time, and give it an easier learning curve. Kirby has always been known for being a short character, especially when comparing him to other characters that show up in Smash. But canonically, in his own games, he's even shorter, coming in at a mere 8 inches tall. Kirby shares the same voice actress as Ness. Kirby's Dreamland was originally without an actual keyboard. Instead, series creator Masahiro Sakurai used a twin Famicom which used a trackball to control an on-screen keyboard. Did you know Kirby's first 3D appearance was in the game that wasn't even his own? That would be Smash 64, as Kirby 64 The Crystal Shards only came out about 14 months after that. The massive Smash Bros. stage, The Great Cave Offensive, was actually taken originally from Kirby Superstar, where it was a sub-game. In it, you explore a massive cave and collect valuable treasure along the way. Kirby's entire Smash moveset is compiled of copy abilities from his respective games. However, in The Amazing Mirror, it became a power-up in and it of itself called Smash. You can get said Smash power-up by inhaling Master Hand, which appears as a mini-boss in The Amazing Mirror. Kirby's hat design while using the Yo-Yo copy ability is very similar to Ness's. Kirby's Epic Yarn wasn't originally a Kirby game, instead the main character was Prince Fluff, however Nintendo felt that this concept wouldn't do well, so instead they transformed it into a Kirby game, in which Kirby fit seamlessly. Kirby Planet Robobot was originally titled Kirby Triple Deluxe 2, however, when the idea of Robobot armor came up, they completely changed the direction of the game and the rest was history. Planet Robobot was also the first 3D Mario game to show Meta Knight without his mask. Planet Robobot was the first Kirby game to have the complete original soundtrack available outside of Japan. Club Nintendo discontinued on July 1st, 2015, just months after Kirby and the Rainbow Curse released. Because of this, Rainbow Curse is the first Kirby game not to come with a Club Nintendo pin code, since the program started in 2003. Rainbow Curse is one of the few Wii U games to actually feature 60 FPS gameplay, but purposely slows down character animations to capture the look of claymation during both cutscenes and gameplay. 
Kirby Star Allies was the first Kirby game to be localized in Chinese, in both traditional and simplified form. Kirby Star Allies has the largest voice cast out of any Kirby game, with a grand total of 10 voice actors. It was also the first Kirby game to see a worldwide release on the same day. Smash Bros. Brawl essentially yoinked Kirby's Air Ride menu. Despite a cult following, Kirby's Air Ride has never released a permanent digital download. Kirby's Epic Yarn takes up to 31 blocks of the Wii's memory. Kirby's Epic Yarn also takes as many sound effects from the Wii title, Wario Land Shake It. The time between releases of Kirby Squeak Squad and Kirby's Epic Yarn marked the longest duration without an entirely new Kirby game in North America since the beginning of the series. Apparently, a stage on Kirby's Epic Yarn was originally planned for Super Smash Bros. Wii U. However, after the announcement of Yoshi's Woolly World, the yarn aesthetic was used for Yoshi Stage, and Kirby Stage was retooled into the Great Cave Offensive. If the player shakes the Wii remote right before the opening video plays in Kirby Return to Dreamland, a different Kirby appears during the opening cinematic on the title screen. Box Boy, also made by HAL, was originally planned to have Kirby as the protagonist, but it was shifted over to Box Boy when the game director decided Kirby extruding boxes from him would look too weird. Issue 39 of Nintendo Power states that Wispy Woods is also known as the Larkspur Liar, but nobody really uses this otherwise. Kirby's Pinball Land is the only Kirby game to use an engine from another Nintendo game, this being Pokemon Pinball. Speaking of pinball, the Gator enemy in Kirby Superstar is modeled after the Gators from Revenge of the Gator, a pinball game released by HAL Laboratory in 1989. This is Kibi. This is Yellow Kirby. Supposedly, they are completely different characters. Sakurai's favorite Kirby copy abilities are hand-to-hand -hand abilities like Fighter and Suplex. Kirby Slide, Kirby's Toy Box, and Kirby Star Stacker are the only games in the Kirby series to not feature any female characters. In the Japanese version of Kirby's Dream Land 3, Boss Butch's title screen has the phrase Nintendo 16 written across the top. This is a Nintendo 64 reference altered to fit to the 16-bit Super Famicom. When Kirby Nightmare in Dream Land is turned on, exactly 120 Kirbys rush across the screen. The acronym for Kirby right back at you spells Kirby's name, obviously minus the I. Kirby Squeak Squad was originally the first Kirby game to be released in Korea. One of the unused elements in Kirby Mass Attack is a palette selection screen where the player would have been able to change colors of the Kirby. In a behind-the-scenes Miiverse post, director Shinya Kumizaki mentions that the Sunstone items in Kirby Triple Deluxe contain the power of sunlight, and that a character who dislikes the sun may have turned the light into gems in an effort to rob Loria of its light. There are over 300 rooms in Kirby Triple Deluxe. Kirby Triple Deluxe also has the longest 100% speedrun out of any Kirby game. The top run was finished at a time of 6 hours and 34 minutes and 42 seconds on December 1st, 2018. The ESP copy abilities in Planet Robobot appear as a reference to NES. Kirby Family was a cancelled Game Boy Color game that, when combined to a Jaguar sewing machine, produced Kirby-themed embroidery patterns. Kirby Family is also the only cancelled Kirby game to have its full ROM leaked online. Kirby Star Allies is the most heavily censored Kirby game to this date, due to religion being one of the main themes. A fifth root variety, Grapes, was intended to appear in Kirby Mass Attack, but was scrapped. Volcano Valley from Kirby Mass Attack originally has a pinkish-purple hue and sports lanterns with green flames. During Kirby's Return to Dreamland's development, the creative team considered calling the game Kirby Wii Super Friend, in a reference to the game's super abilities and four-player co-op. No one truly knows Kirby's age. In the Japanese version of Kirby Superstar, there's a Mado sign in the credits of the Milky Way Wishes level. This was removed in international releases due to Nintendo of America's regulations on Japanese culture. Kirby's Tilt and Tumble's cartridge is the only Game Boy Color game that has the notch that allows it to fit inside an original Game Boy system. It'll even display a message stating that this game doesn't work with that system and will only work on Game Boy Color handhelds. In the extra game credits of Kirby's Dream Land, Chucky's name is switched to Hurley. And finally, Kirby Battle Royale is the first Kirby game to be localized in Dutch. Woo, that was a mouthful. If you enjoyed this video and you want to hear more Nintendo trivia, be sure to check out this video right here where we talk about all the 3D Mario trivia that you probably don't know.